This is a work of incredible naturalism and astonishing beauty. She's one of the maidens of, uh, that accompanied St. Ursula on pilgrimage. St. Ursula had 11,000 virgin companions, all of whom were slaughtered by the Huns, according to legend. Um, and, and a great cult of St. Ursula and her virgin martyrs um, emerges in the, in the Middle Ages. She's made of painted oak between the years about 1500, 1530. This one made probably in Brussels or, or South Netherlandish. And she represents an aristocratic figure, this elaborate hairstyle which is braided around the top of her head with festoons of drapery and hair around the back. She's absolutely a, a perfectly, beautifully observed work of portraiture. But in fact, the secret that it conceals is that it was also a reliquary. So inside the head is a cavity which opens and that's where the relic of the skull of the saint would have been kept. A pendant hangs around her neck and behind a window on her breast would have been a second relic, possibly part of the breastbone. When you look at her face, she's communicating with you very directly. She's making uh, perhaps a sympathetic response to a prayer, uh, because after all the saints were entreated to for their powers of intercession. So the idea is that someone would have prayed to the saint and appealed for her help in adversity. Um, and the prayers of the saint, of course, carrying much greater currency with God because the saints had proved their virtue through their martyrdom. She has this very beatific smile almost playing on her lips. Of all the objects in the exhibition, this is one that you feel might open her mouth and speak to you, might even move. 